Rhode Island is just days away from a full return to normalcy. Today, the state lifted its mask mandates. Businesses will be left to decide what works for them. With Memorial Day weekend just around the corner, the tourism industry bracing for a major boost in profits. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt is live in Newport with how businesses and tourists there are responding to the changes. Brandon. Well, Shannon, with so many things changing, businesses tell me they are trying to ride the line between consumer confidence and a sense of normalcy, and they admit it's harder than it might seem. To tell you the truth, we haven't been out of the house in a year. With so many changes, you might forget we were in the thick of this pandemic just months ago. Wynn and Jack King taking their first road trip from Pittsburgh since March of 2020. I'd dearly love to get rid of the mask, but I don't see anything uh, particularly oppressive about it. The couple is fully vaccinated and visiting the Newport mansions, saying mask mandates do not impact where they take their business. When it comes to masks, we're going to take that one step at a time. The Preservation Society of Newport County not expecting to make any sweeping changes right away, saying it's about visitors feeling safe and employees too. We've been living with masks now for a year, so you get accustomed to that. You get you get to a point where you are relying upon them a bit. This is a really difficult issue. Discover Newport's Evan Smith saying many businesses are still deciding what to do. Their research showing travelers are split on this. About half want a slice of normalcy. Others are more concerned about safety. With all restrictions lifting in Rhode Island by Friday, businesses are working to crank up again. Get back to full staffing and be prepared to handle full workloads, which they haven't done in a long time, and that's not so easy. And many places here are just struggling to hire the staff needed to be able to fully reopen. In terms of mask wearing, it's really going to come down to the business that you walk into. By the way, that applies to national stores as well. Live in Newport, Brandon Truitt, 12 News. Another big story tonight. For the first time in more than a year, face masks are no longer required in Rhode Island, at least for people who are fully vaccinated. You still need to wear them in some places, the state's courts and schools, for instance, and businesses can still require them too. Many tell us they aren't sure what to do. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt's in Newport with the decisions being made by industries there. Brandon. Well, Newport is ready to make a comeback this summer. Tourism here brings in nearly a billion dollars in a normal year. And with so much changing, businesses say they are trying to find the right balance. It was a picture perfect Tuesday in the city by the sea, overall a quiet one, but expectations are that will change soon. People are very interested in getting out and getting around. There is a lot of positive energy. Evan Smith with Discover Newport saying the tourism industry is bracing for peak season and after last year they need it. Smith says businesses here are struggling to decide whether to require masks, many trying to ride the line between consumer confidence and normalcy. We are seeing a little bit of friction between the, the, you know, the traveler and consumer and the business community. And I think that's not just indicative of Newport. I think that's indicative of the nation right now. Key Newport attractions like the mansions do not plan to make sweeping changes anytime soon, saying they are considering customers and staff too. We've been living with masks now for a year, so you get accustomed to that. You get, you get to a point where you are relying upon them a bit. They are a protection. So we're going to have to wean ourselves off. To tell you the truth, we haven't been out of the house in a year. Wynn and Jack King are in town from Pittsburgh, making the road trip to see family in Maine. The couple is fully vaccinated and say at this point, mask requirements do not bother them one way or another. I'm not going to go just because they have a mask policy or not go because they don't. Bottom line, it's really going to depend on the business that you walk into. This is going to be the case for national chains as well. Those in tourism here in Newport say they don't expect for all of the COVID precautions to be lifted up for several weeks. In Newport, Brandon Truett, 12 News.